Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to make over some bottles. Uh, I like this craft because um, you can get bottles given to you, and uh, you can actually use just about any shape. Uh, but I'm going to use some wine bottles here, and as you can see, I'm not even bothering taking off the, um, the labels. I just uh, cleaned these bottles with alcohol, and now I'm giving them all a good coat of slick stick and that's a dixie bell product just to help um, paint stick to slick surfaces and for this bottle this is just a vinegar bottle uh, i think bragg's vinegar comes in it and uh, i'm just using part of a napkin here to decoupage on the front and uh, if you haven't seen me decoupage with napkins or haven't decoupaged with nap napkins yourself uh, you just take uh, the one ply off the front and uh, that has the graphics on it, obviously, and uh, you can decoupage that onto just about anything. And uh, so I just kind of tore around it because I want this to be an organic look. Um, so I just decoupage that on. And now I'm making some molds. Uh, and I'm not going to show m myself making these molds. I'll, I'll try to attach a video uh, where I do that more in detail. Uh, but right now, I'm just showing you a few impressions that I'm making in clay. And I just kind of press some clay flat. I don't even bother with a rolling pin here because, again, I'm just looking for organic. So I just press it kind of thin and now I'm doing the impression from some of these stamps. And these are just kind of random stamps. And uh, I just, I'm just doing what I, I like on each of these bottles. And I have lots of script stamps. And I think they look really good on uh, items like this. And now I'm doing some trim molds. And uh, this one has roses on it. Uh, and I'm going to be using that around some areas on some of these bottles. So I'm just doing all these up ahead so that I'll have them ready for my items. And here I'm gluing that trim around the, the neck of the bottle. And, and then I glue it just organically around that image. And I cut that part off somehow and couldn't find that footage. But again, I just glued it around the image. And here I'm using some clay molds that I had made weeks ago, and they're just some roses. And because the, the sides of this jar are flat, then I'm just gluing those on the sides of this jar. Now these two little jars are going to be a set, so um, I'm kind of decorating them to go together. And here I'm taking some buttercream. I had mixed them up before, and... Uh, it, I didn't have very much of it left, so I thought I better mix plenty of this up. So uh, I just mix about half and half, half buttercream here in the Dixie Belle, and then half baking soda. And, and I went a little less to begin with and just kind of added as I felt it needed it. But I ended up with about half and half because I want plenty of texture on these bottles. And Dixie Belle has a texture medium that I use sometimes, but I just wanted to use baking soda here for those of you who don't have those products because baking soda works perfectly. And then once I get this mixed up well, then I'm just going to take this brush, and this is just a little brush from the Dollar Tree. So you don't have to use a good brush here at all but because I'm just going to pounce that color on. I want plenty of texture. And where my mold kind of has a gap around the edges, I just fill it in with this. And uh, so that's what I'm doing here. And then I just pounce on the rest of this. Uh, and one coat covers it well because of that texture and because because I'm pouncing this on rather than having brush strokes. And then I use that same color and the same technique on the other bottle. And uh, and I just also paint the, the rose molds around the image. 
and then I let that dry well and now I'm adding gold and this is just a regular folk art color it's a craft paint uh, and I get these at Hobby Lobby they have a whole line of the uh, metallic colors and I just love using them and then I just kind of wipe that back and uh, and then I do the same thing with the other jar but I except I put that gold all over it and I've already done that here and now I'm just kind of adding some bronze and some gold and and my plan was to leave this mostly gold and I, I used this white wax on the on the rose here and I just really like the look of it and then I started seeing around the rose and I liked how it it made the rest of the bottle look so I decided here to just put white wax on the entire piece and I do that with both bottles and I really like the look that it gives because that white wax settles down into all that texture and it just it just gives it a really good look so like I said this is a uh, just a regular vin vinegar bottle and the other one I'm not real sure what it is my sister got it from her neighbor she got several of them and it looks like a little whiskey bottle. I really don't know what it is. Uh, but I have a few of those. So uh, I like the look of them. But I just decided to put these two together. And uh, make them a little pair. So once I get white wax on all this. And get it wiped off well. Then it's ready for the next step. And I'm just going to kind of dress up that top. So I had this little doily here, and I a lot of people hate when I cut doilies, but this one is just, it isn't plastic, but it's a real stiff look and, and not necessarily a doily that I would use. So uh, I'm just cutting around the edges, and I'm cutting carefully so that when I get the, um, the scalloped edge around the outside cut then i have a perfect little circle doily in the middle so i can use that on another project but i want to use the scalloped edge around both of the necks of these bottles and i'm just going to glue that on and because it's already a stiff doily i'm not going to paint it now on some of the others i'll paint the, the lace that i put on but with this one i'm not going to i'm just gonna uh, glue it on just like it is because i think this color works really well with the bottles and then once i get that uh, glued around the neck of both of these bottles then i've just ripped some fabrics just different types of fabrics and i've cut some pieces of lace um, you can just rip all kinds of fabric and, and, and you'll have to cut lace because it won't rip right. But, um, I just keep those on hand for trim and I want this to be really rustic and really vintage looking. So, uh, I'm just kind of tying something, one of those little strips around the top. And I think that makes a cute little bottle. And then I'll take the other one and use the same kind of fabric around the top of it. And that will make the two of them go together well. I think on this I just used a coffee stained um, shear that was I had ripped into little strips. And then I also ripped some coffee stained uh, tea towel. But again here just use whatever you have on hand and whatever you think looks good with your little bottle. And then for my next set of bottles, I'm gonna need some stamps. So I'm just using that inside layer of the napkin that I used earlier, and I'm just gonna stamp some images that I'm gonna be using on the bottles on here. And these are just kind of French looking stamps, and um, I'm just kind of putting on there what I think looks good and what I think fits. And I always like to use some sort of script. And this script, these script stamps are everywhere on Amazon. You can just find them anywhere. So uh, just find a script that you like. And um, the little stamps aren't very expensive at all. And now I'm just, uh, I have painted these bottles white, and I didn't show that, but I, I painted them in the color cotton, and that's a Dixie Belle color, but any white will do here. 
and I'm just decoupaging these images on where I think the bottle needs them. And so I put one on each side on this one of the same of the same stamp and now I'm just randomly placing some of this script in different places. And then I'm doing the same with this next little bottle and I'm using the same types of stamps so that they'll go well together. And then once I get these images on here, then um, obviously I'm just using this decoupage on the whole piece so that it will seal that chalk paint. I won't have to use another sealer. So these bottles were really, really simple. Just paint them and uh, put these little images on using your napkins and stamps. And then again, I'm going to be tying little strips of fabric and little trims around the top to to make them go together uh, if you haven't tried doing these little bottles you should really try because uh, you can get these things given to you or save your bottles that maybe your steak sauce has came in or your vinegar or um olive oil there's a lot of little items uh, or a lot a lot of little bottles that you can use uh, because they have really cute shapes and then uh, you can make these things with very little materials also and i guess if you wanted to you could use the transfers but you you really don't have to spend that on these you can just uh, put what you have on hand I'm sorry I'm really struggling with this voiceover because I have a really scratchy throat for some reason and I can't seem to stop coughing. But uh, here I'm just taking that trim through the little wire thing on the top to help it stay on. And um, that's just a good place to tie it anyway. And so I'm just kind of using that to help it stay. And, uh, and I didn't mention with these, I didn't tape off anything. I just went ahead and painted that wire and the lid the same way because this is a very rustic look. So I just kind of wanted all that to go together. And then for my last set, I'm going to be adding some, um, some of a doily to this one. Uh, but I'm going to do this before I paint it uh, because I want to paint that doily. Uh, it's just about texture, and so um, I found this little trim piece on a doily that I had used up before that had some stains on it, and now I'm just kind of cutting just that lace around the, the bottom side of it because I'm going to use that on the front. I didn't like that little point on the top, so I rounded that off a little, and here I'm just cutting it to fit around the jar or the bottle, and I'm just going to glue that on. And I'm using Type Bond here. In hindsight, I could have used um, just hot glue. It would have been just fine. Uh, but I used the Type Bond, so I had to wait on it to dry. But um, And then I'm using another piece of that same lace from that doily and, and gluing it around the top. And I painted this uh, in that same color of the buttercream with the texture on it. And I've already done that here. And I decided here to use a brown wax on this. Uh, but I quickly decided that I did not like the color that I was getting. Because it just gives that, it gives it more of a, uh, almost a pink tint to it. I did not like it at all. So here I'm using that same gold and bronze that I used on the other bottle. Or on the other bottles and uh, then just kind of wiping that back then for the next bottle I'm uh, just putting some um, another layer of a different type of napkin and just gluing that in the middle with some Mod Podge and then um, I'm taking some clay once this has dried and I'm just kind of smushing it around the edges and I, I know you like that technical name but that's really all I'm doing, just smushing it around the edges and kind of evening it out. I want some raised uh, areas around this image, uh, but I don't want it to be neat. I just want it to kind of 
like I said before, just organically frame this little image. And then once I get that on and let it dry, then I use that same buttercream um, on this entire bottle, except for the image, obviously. And I even dab some on that, on that clay. And I do add uh, some of those clay impressions on this bottle as well. And I didn't get that filmed here, but uh, I just used some of those small impressions and glued them on the bottle before I painted it. Again, that's just all about what you want to do to yours because uh, there are no rules with these bottles. You can do just about anything that you want to them. And there I am just dabbing that color uh, on the bottle to add some texture so that when I go back and use the waxes, I have uh, lots of little areas that that wax takes. And then um, now I'm using the gold just around uh, this image and then just kind of randomly in different areas. I like to get that bottom dark and around the top, but then I'm just kind of randomly putting the gold in different places by dabbing it on and then just kind of dabbing it off with a with a rag. And now um, once that's dry well, then I'm using white wax over the, the whole thing and that will seal it and, uh, and you know, give it some, um, some dimension and color when that white wax settles down into um, all that texture. And I'm doing the same thing on this bottle and uh, letting it just kind of settle into all that texture. And these bottles didn't end up quite as gold as I had planned, but I really liked the look that I got anyway. And then once I got these finished, then I just do the same thing. I just tie some trim uh, around the top and with this bottle because it has that wire I'm going through that wire on each side to help it stay on And then on this bottle because it has the purple flowers on the top or on the front rather I decided to glue a couple of sprigs of lavender on This one as well And so I just tied it in a knot and glued a couple of sprigs of lavender and then tied another knot and I think that that lavender made a really big difference in this bottle. I like to do these little bottles in sets because I think they display well in sets. I thought about doing a, a set in farmhouse style, and but it just it kind of took more time than I thought. Um, more of my time went in messing up and in redoing my color and things like that, but they're still really fun to do. There's that little rose trim that I didn't let you see well earlier, but I think it really added a lot to that bottle. But I think they all came out pretty good. Uh, and, and I just love the look that the lavender gave the other set. I think it just added a lot to that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.